determine the reactions at the supports A and C of the compound beam. There is a pin at B. Repeat again. We need to determine the reactions at the supports A and C of the compound beam. Look at the figure of the problem. We see that the compound beam subject to the triangular distributed load has length from A to B about 6 meters and B to C about 3 meters. In order to determine the reaction of the support, first, we should convert the triangular distribution loads and uniformly distribution loads to point loads. So, let's convert triangular distribution loads to point loads. 6 kN per meter multiply by 6 meters multiply by 1 over 2 is equal to 18 kN. Now let's convert uniformly distribution loads to point loads. 6 kN per meter multiply by 3 meters is equal to 18 kN. As we know from the effective force at load centroid of the triangular distribution loads, the point load located away from peak of triangular distribution loads to lower at 1 over 3 of the length that it's distributed. And load centroid of the uniformly distribution loads, the point load located in middle of the length that it's distributed. So, here we got the location of the point loads. After that, let's apply directly by writing the moment equation of equilibrium about A and B respectively. The sigma of moment at point B is equal to zero. So, 18 kN multiplied by 2 meters minus Ay multiplied by 6 meters is equal to zero. Hence, Ay value is equal to 6 kN. The sigma of force along y axis is equal to zero. So, By plus Ay value minus 18 kN is equal to zero. Hence, By is equal to 12 kN. The sigma of force along x-axis is equal to zero. Hence, Bx value is equal to zero. Now we got some value of the supports. Next, we will reveal all the supports value of the compound beam. Let's apply directly by writing the moment equation of equilibrium about B and C respectively. The sigma of moment at point C is equal to zero. So, Negative of moment at point C plus 12 kN multiplied by 1.5 meters plus By multiplied by 3 meters is equal to zero. Hence, moment at point C value is equal to 54 kN meters. The sigma of force along y axis is equal to zero. So, Cy minus By value minus 12 kN is equal to zero. Hence, By is equal to 24 kN. The sigma of force along x-axis is equal to zero. So, Cx minus Bx value is equal to zero. Hence, Cx value is equal to zero. Here is the way that we compute the reaction at the support A and C of the compound beam. Do you think this video helped you or not? If it is helpful, share this video to your classmates. Don't waste your time. Study, because you still have a chance. Thanks.